नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण एन लाइटनिंग टेक्स्ट 53 ऑफ चैप्टर 7 शेड्यूल इनकार्नेशंस विद स्पेसिफिक फंक्शंस ऑफ सेकंड कैंडल ऑफ कॉस्मिक मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ श्रीमद् भागवतम टेक्स्ट 53 माया मरण या तो अमुष्य ईश्वर स्यानु मोदत हो श्रुण मत हो श्रद्धा या नित्यम माया यात्मानो मोह यति द लॉर्ड्स एक्टिविटीज इन एसोसिएशन विद इज डिफरेंट एनर्जीज शुड बी डिस्क्राइब appreciated and heard in accordance with the teachings of the supreme lord if this is done regularly with devotion and respect one is sure to get out of the illusory energy of the lord the science of learning a subject matter seriously is different from the sentiments of fanatics fanatics or fools may consider the lord's activities in relation with the external energy to be useless for them and they may falsely claim to be higher participants in the internal energy of the lord but factually the lord's activities in relation with the external energy and the internal energy are equally good on the other hand those who are not completely free from the clutches of the lord's external energy should devoutly hear regularly about the activities of the lord in relation with the external energy they should not foolishly jump up to the activities of the internal energy falsely attracted by the lord's internal potential activities like his rasa leela the chief reciters of the bhagavatam are very much enthusiastic about the lord's internal potential activities and the pseudo devotees absorbed in material sense enjoyment falsely jump to the stage of liberated souls and thus fall down deeply into the clutches of external energy some of them think that to hear about the pastimes of the lord means to hear about his activities with the gopis or about his pastimes like lifting the govardhan hill and they have nothing to do with the plenary expansions as the purusha avatars and their pastimes of the creation maintenance and annihilation of the material worlds but a pure devotee knows that there is no difference between the past times of the lord either in rasa leela or in creation maintenance or destruction of the material world rather the descriptions of such activities of the lord as the purusha avatars are specifically meant for persons who are in the clutches of the external energy topics like the rasa leela are meant for the liberated souls and not for the conditioned souls the conditioned souls therefore must hear with appreciation and devotion the lord's past times in relationship with the external energy and such acts are as good as the hearing of rasa leela in the liberated stage a conditioned soul should not imitate the activities of liberated souls lord sri chaitanya never indulged in hearing the rasa leela with ordinary men in the shrimad bhagavatam the science of god the first nine cantos prepare the ground for hearing the 10th canto this will be further explained in the last chapter of this canto in the third canto it will be more explicit a pure devotee of the lord therefore must begin reading or hearing shrimad bhagavatam from the very beginning and not from the 10th canto we have several times been requested by some so called devotees to take up the 10th canto immediately but we have refrained from such an action because we wish to present shrimad bhagavatam as the science of godhead and not as a sensuous understanding for the conditioned souls this is forbidden by such authorities as shri brahma ji by reading and hearing shrimad bhagavatam as a scientific presentation the conditioned souls will gradually be promoted to the higher status of transcendental knowledge after being freed from the illusory energy based on sense enjoyment thus end the bhakti vedanta purports of the second canto seventh chapter of the shrimad bhagavatam entitled schedule incarnations with specific functions hari krishna